five useful apps for students and how I use them. Welcome back. In this video, we'll deep dive into the world of apps I use for part-time studying. With so many apps, I want to share the ones I use to help you make an informed decision. Hopefully you save time and money when choosing your next study app. Sharing how I use these apps will give you ideas on implementing them into your study workflow. The five apps I'm covering are MindKnown for mind mapping, Obsidian for digital note-taking, Google Calendar for time management, Good notes for handwritten note taking, and keep active recall of my notes. If you want more techniques, tools, and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it helpful, please press the like button so I know to create similar content in the future. If like me, you're a very visual learner, a mind map is always the first thing I create when starting a course. MindNote is an app for users who want mind mapping capabilities. Unlike many apps that I've tried, it has these three features that I enjoy. iOS and Mac support, so I can use it on all my devices. I can convert the mind maps into outlines for easy inputting. I can export to Markdown, so I can add it to my Obsidian Vault. Let's see an example of me using this in my current course. Course. In the center, I have my current course title. Around it, I have topics that I need to learn. Often this comes from the course syllabus. After that, I have branches that represent areas I must cover, questions I must ask, or terms I must study further. These get added as I go through the course. I usually add a task to the branches to remind me to follow up if I still have questions. I can switch to outline mode and quickly move the branches around to organize this better. When I want to export it, I can use the export option and save the markdown file to my Obsidian Vault. MindNode has a simple user interface and is intuitive to use. Mind maps are great for visually complex topics for revision later on. My appreciation for Obsidian is well known. I've used it for a wide range of use cases. When it comes to learning, I have used it to improve my golf and chess scores and study for professional exams. It has many features, but these are the ones I use for study. Capturing book highlights, lecture notes using plugins and important features, writing drafts for my final thesis, allowing me to reference sources using backlinking, integrating to Anki to practice exam questions using the active recall and space repetition. Let's see an example of using it with my current course. I have a dashboard that provides an overview of the notes to access quickly. The dashboard allows me to see what assessments I have to do. I use the power structure to organize my notes, projects for my assignments, area for my class notes, book notes and discussion notes, resources for my templates, Python scripts for class and question banks to export to Anki. Archive is for all my completed assignments. If you're interested in seeing a more detailed walkthrough, comment below or have a look at my other Obsidian study videos. Overall, I enjoy using Obsidian. When I open it up, I know what I have to work on and have implemented workflow that works for me. I have had no problems using iCloud and Apple ecosystems to run the app, but I know some people have issues. I appreciate the steep learning curve, but the community is fantastic and worth investigating for your studies. Being able to manage your time is an essential part of your studies. Being a part-time student who works, ensuring I have time to study is even more crucial. My current study system involves time blocking using Google Calendar. Google Calendar helps me block out work commitments, study commitments, and personal time. The main features I'm using are different colors for different blocks, share my calendar with my wife, integration with apps to use the calendar with task management systems. Let's see an example of using it with my current course. Currently, my schedule looks like this. Work commitments are red, lecture commitments are in light blue, study commitments in dark blue, personal commitment in green. I try not to study for more than one hour a day as I would burn out and most of my study time is at the weekends to do assignments. I have a gap for for dinner, walks and other exercises, my wife can add in any family commitments to help plan future schedules. Google Calendar is an excellent app for sharing your schedules and plans. One area that I would like to make an improvement is a cleaner yearly view of my calendar so I can plan for significant commitments such as holidays and exam days. Taking notes is a fundamental aspect of learning process. However, I needed help during lectures because I would not type quickly enough to keep up. So instead, I've been using the Apple Pencil to keep notes. A combination of iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, and a paper-like screen alternative gives the feeling of a writing on paper. I've tried a few apps, including Notability and Apple Notes, but I've always returned to GoodNotes. The main features I like are templates for each note, 
quickly create diagrams, export to PDF to save in Obsidian. Let's see it in action. I use a template that comes with good notes. The template I use is for the Cornell notes method. At the top, I capture information about the lecture. The box on the right is for notes I have taken from the lecture, and the left hand box is for any keywords I need to know or items I can add to my question map. At the bottom, I save for quick summary or any follow up questions and any actions I have. Adding quick diagrams helps me organize the information in the lecture. Finally, I can export to my Obsidian Vault. Usually it is in the inbox for processing and then moved to the archive folder once it's processed. Overall, I think GoodNotes is a step up from Apple Notes and I would recommend it to any student who needs it. I have found flashcards an excellent way to memorize key points and concepts. I've tried many apps but have had the most success with Yanki. I enjoy using it on my phone when I travel to work using the Yanki mobile flashcard app. The main features I use are creating cards from my Obsidian notes using the Anki plugin, tracking my performance using the space repetition system, Mac, iPad and iPhone integration to allow me to use it with different devices. Let's see it in action. I added a question bank note for each topic I study. The questions bank has a set of questions or concepts I need to learn. The questions get imported into Anki using Anki plugin. In Anki, I practice these questions and concepts until I remember them. The dashboard tells me the areas to focus. Focus on. Overall, the key plugin and Anki mobile app are great tools for active recall and really helps me practice my questions before it's done. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it has helped you decide which apps to use in your studies. If you can recommend any other apps that I should use, let me know in the comments below. Links to the apps that are featured are in the video description. Remember to like and subscribe if you have found this video helpful so I know to make more like this. Goodbye for now.